Chris weren't so sick it'd be funny. He murders my husband, threatens to kill me, and I'm the one being arrested for graffiti. Just calm down, Maria. Come on. Whatever your grievances are, it's still an offence to cause malicious damage. Malicious damage? He's destroyed my life! Excuse me, officer. Might I possibly have a word? Whatever he tells you is a lie! What's going on? What have you done, Maria? Can't arrest not see? I'm afraid we can, sir. I'm not willing to press charges. She's already admitted to the offence. Well, she's not herself. I had noticed. And that's because in the last 12 months, she's lost the baby and her husband. OK. Uh, take it that's the same, Liam, she's claiming you had murdered. Yeah, I've already discussed this with your colleagues. There was a hit and run a few months back. I was there when he died. She needs someone to blame, unfortunately. I'm that someone. You seem rather understanding, considering... I gave my word to the man I'd look after Maria. The only thing that girl's got left is the baby she's carrying. She's pregnant? Just over three months. Look, I know you're just trying to do your job, but she needs friends, family, not the inside of a cell, especially not at this time of year. Well, you like an or what? This is my wife. Unfortunately, she's not as forgiving as I am. Yes, yeah, so what's happening? You'd have to ask the officer about. Well, just give us a mo. What did you say to him? What had to be said. How was the gym? Banging, mate, banging. Feeling ripped? To the max. Not exactly uh, bursting out your shirt there. Are you calling me a lie? I'm just concerned about your health, mate. Oh, is that as a mate? Or as an alibi for yesterday? He's not going to let that lie, are you? But you can't blame him, mate, eh, can you? You're playing with fire, and Muggins here is holding the petrol can. Oh, I think I've got it all. I've got it what all. do you think they're talking about? No idea. I'm going to have a word. Uh, no, maybe you shouldn't get involved. I'm a brother, Fizz. Well, if you ask me, it was only a matter of time. Oh, poor, poor child. Mm, and no doubt he'll demand they throw the book at her. Have you just calm down? Kirk's having a word. Right. Letting her go. The gentleman kindly explained the situation. He also refuses to make a complaint. That's brilliant. Doesn't change the fact your sister isn't well. We'll get her through it. Make sure you do, cos I'm warning you right now, I won't tolerate a repeat of this. You won't be. Right, then. I'll leave you to deliver the glad tidings. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Everything sorted? We hope so. Thanks very much. Our pleasure. Got yourself a saint there, love. <laughs> Don't ask. It's over. How do you mean? Everything's OK. You're not under arrest anymore. Oh, Kirk. What in heaven did you say, love? I think it was more what Tony said. Come again. He sort of stood up for you. I just want to put all this stuff behind us. You're not all falling for this. Maria! He's evil! Look, uh, let's get home, right? I know what you are. That is enough! Audrey! No, I mean it! Just look at yourself. Look at what you're doing. I'm sorry. Yes, well, it's not me you should be apologising to, is it, eh? Over my dead body. Oh. Come on. I don't know what to say. Forget it. You were saying about our Mr Gordon? Mm. Well, one swallow doesn't make a summer. Get back to the gym. I mean, start going. Is it really hurting you that much? It'll be all right. I might sleep on the floor tonight, give the sofa a miss. Hmm. Yeah, just, uh, excuse me, just a second. Game on. <laughs> what are you doing here? Um, looking for Amber. Are you looking for Amber? Yeah, she called me earlier. She said she was having problems with Daryl and she wanted to chat. What kind of problem? She didn't go into any detail. Excuse me, I just... Uh... <clears throat> what? I think we've been had. Sorry, Dad. Had to be done. 
Buy Tara a cocktail and be charming. Nearly there. You wait, he's got a plan. Everything he does, he does for a reason. Look at the state of these hands. When was the last time you gave your nails some TLC? Hmm? I know what you're trying to do, you know. I'm not mad, OK? Oh. I don't care what anyone says. Look, nobody thinks that. Folks are just worried about you. Yeah, well, it's Tony they should be worrying about, not me. Right, uh, run your bath, go on. I don't need a flaming bath. I just need someone to listen to me. No, Maria, you listen to me. Now, you've got to stop all this. It's not good for you, and it certainly isn't good for your baby. She's right, kiddo. You'll feel better after a soak. A few bubbles. Merry Christmas. Oh, and the same to you, love. Cracky, you're full of the joys. I know. Isn't it wonderful? Hmm. Take it you had a good day yesterday? Indeed. You might say your loss was my gain. You've lost me. Your father and I, we shared Christmas together. I thought you knew. He told us he was coming down with flu. I mean, has that man got no shame? Oh, Eileen, I'm so sorry. Oh, forget it. Believe me, he's pulled worse strokes than this. That doesn't justify his actions. Indeed. I have been stuck in a B&B &B for the last two weeks. And it's gorgeous, as you can imagine. Now, we were at each other's throats and my mom practically moved back into the house. My dad is acting like nothing happened. Money has your best interests at heart. <laughs> so what now? Edinburgh, or bust. I am moving up there in Jan. Wow. A friend of mine started her own consultancy, and she's asked me to come in, and I just thought, what the hell? Good. <laughs> Are you sure it's the right thing to do? I don't know what to do, but I do know I have to get away. Scotland. It just seems a lot, long way away to escape from your mum and dad. We both know this isn't just about my family. And the least you can do is wish me luck. With bells on, babe. Hey. Here's to, um, fresh starts. Do you think you should call round? Maybe later. I'm really worried, Fizz. I'm going to clean that paint straight away. I just wanted to catch up with his first. Relax, don't worry about that. This is an extremely awkward situation, and I'm probably not the right person to suggest this, but I think um, you should try and get Maria away from Weatherfield. There's too many reminders around here. I think she needs some distance. I've been thinking the same thing. I believe you've got family in Cyprus. Yeah, my mum and dad. They'd love to see her. Oh, I don't know. Well, I'd be happy to pay if money's an issue. Well, don't be silly. No, I know things can be tight just now. We can cope, but thanks for the thought. Well, fair enough. But the offer's still there if you change your mind, all right? OK, now I'm totally confused. You feeling OK, are you? Not coming down with Summit. Here we go. That girl does not need a holiday. She needs a shrink or a cell. Look, what are you doing with the honour? Don't think you're getting out of it that easily. I hardly think that qualifies as a kiss. Oh, I. You think you could do better? <laughs> now that's how it's done. And how was that for you, Lloyd? We've still got it, kid. Yesterday, but what is it? Open it and see. I saw you salivating over it in that nerdy shop you dragged me in. Oh, it's awesome! It's got an ejector seat and everything. 
Yeah, thanks. Oh. Come on, let's get you home. I'll give you a massage. Don't go getting any ideas. It's strictly medicinal, like. Oh, yeah, yeah. Goes without saying. Now, are you sure you don't want another one? I'd better make Why? a move. Why? Why? What's the rush? I don't want to get too comfortable. Because? Because it'll make going back to that crummy room that much oh, harder. OK. Now, look, look, look. If I'm out of line, you can tell me where to go, but I think it's crazy for you to waste all your money on a B&B &B when there's an empty flat above the shop, right? So, mm. that is very kind. But... But no, 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 you're going to move away. You're going to have to save every single penny, right? And you'll be doing me a massive favour because I know for certain that Amber and Daryl have got their eyes on that place and that is a no, 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 no. <laughs> so just, uh, just think about it, yeah? OK. I'll think about it. And you know where I am, right? And I'm sorry. I really am. And I wish I could go back and um, make everything. Uh... I know. <laughs> How's that? Oh, smashing, babe. I beg your pardon. Sorry, I mean, it's very therapeutic. <laughs> Good. Cos I'm not doing this for my benefit, you understand? Absolutely. As long as we're clear on that. Defo. Mm, still nice and relaxing, though, you know, with all the candles and whatnot. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, new Pam! Hey, I've managed to get my hands on some lovely devil Pam. Right, eh. Uh, we don't just lie there. Get your kit back on. Give me a minute. Oh. Right, yeah. If you wait for an apology, you can forget it. Amber, it baby, had to be sweetheart, done. it was embarrassing. Oh, yeah, cos you're not totally used to that anyway. Dad, what do you want from me? OK, well, if you must know, I do feel sort of responsible for the breakup. Satisfied now? Well, it wasn't your fault. Doesn't mean I can't try and put it right. Yeah, but I blew it right. Not you. You love her. Don't deny it. So why are you letting her leave? Because. I'm not a good enough reason to make her stay. You're an idiot, Dad. Yeah, big time, babes. Big time. So you're sending me away? Oh, no one is sending you anywhere. We only want you to think about it. Everyone needs a holiday. Yes, I mean, a bit of sun works wonders. Can it bring back the dead? Look, I'm sorry, but I can't just up sticks and run away. Being here isn't healthy for you. I'm fine! No, Maria, you're not. Whose idea was this? Mine. It's not running away. Please, sis. I'm scared for you. Don't say that. Is this how you all feel, then? That you're seriously worried for me? <sighs> all right, fine. I'll go. I'll go to Cyprus. We're just mates, all right? I could do a lot worse. Maybe I could do better. Only in your dreams. You smell intoxicating. Give over. A true lady doesn't just wear a perfume. She enhances it. You're still in the doghouse. But I'm enjoying the barking. You guys are so cute. <laughs> That's it. You want to watch Eater and your dad talk about going for a big time. I know, it's frightening. <laughs>
<laughs> so are we a Christmas love? Oh, passable, yours. Top. Really? How come? I don't know, it just was. So you didn't exactly miss a certain <clears throat> son of mine? Do you know what? Not even for one second. Jason just wants another chance. Oh, no, it ain't gonna happen though, love. I'm sorry. <laughs> Got you at a bad time. Oh, no, 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 no. I was just doing some like urgent uh, uh, paperwork. Uh, excuse me. Where are my manners? Uh, please. I can't stay. Yeah. Um, look, this is really awkward. I was wondering if I could take you up on your earlier offer. Oh yeah, sure. Only if the flat's still available. Uh huh. Uh, it's yours. When do you want to move in? Um, tomorrow, if possible. Yeah, it's not a problem. I'll uh, meet you there. Midday call. Perfect. All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll uh, see you then, then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen, thank you. Mm, it's uh, nothing. Yeah. OK. <laughs> Bye. <Yeah. laughs> Whoa! Thanks so much. I can't remember the last time I was called cute. <laughs> Don't believe that for a single moment. Yes, well, uh, I think I should be getting home. Oh, so soon. Well, Norris and I are watching It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Well, uh, enjoy your evening. Oh, we, we will. will. Good night, love. Good night. Good night. You fancy going into town getting something to eat? I'm surprised you're in the mood. I'm not prepared to let anything else ruin the rest of our Christmas. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to disturb you. Not at all, Emily. Well, I, I just wanted to say that the compassion you showed to Maria was most uplifting. Yeah, that's one word for it. Yes, well, you did a kind and generous thing today, and I, for one, will never forget it. Well... I've seen everything now. Uh, before you start, I did not put her up to that. What the hell are you up to, Tony? And I'm warning you. Don't give me any flannel about it being the season of goodwill. I feel sorry for her. Not good enough. She needs treatment. She doesn't deserve to be behind bars. Mm, still not feeling it. You really want the truth? Would be nice. I've had enough of the nutter. So sue me. Sue me again. Just tap water, please. Tap water? Mm, that's right. Well, giving you a newfound rep, I figured you could turn it into wine for us. Happy Christmas. It is now. Second thoughts. Let's scrub the wine. I might have a little late present back home for you. <laughs> Thanks, love. Mm -hmm. Do you want the good or the bad news? Why do I get the feeling it's going to hurt either way? I have just convinced Maura to let you DJ at the New Year bash. Oh, my God, that's so blum and jammy. Oh, thanks a lot, like, but, you know, I've hardly even met them. Well, she's had feedback. Lots of feedback. Apparently, you've got quite a little following. <laughs> All right, so what's the bad news? You have to wear a thong. Yeah, right. It's traditional Brazilian beachwear. Somebody please catch me up. Your man here has just landed the DJ gig of the year. The Brazilian Crunch Party 2008. <laughs> Since when? Since just now. Let's put a word in for me. You see? It's Christmas. I take it there'll be talent. More than you can shake a stick at. In that case, I am very pleased for you. There's somebody around here who's having fun. The film's about to start. I, I, I was getting worried. I joined Rita and Colin for a quick drink. Well, notice I wasn't invited. 
because you weren't there. No, I was here, preparing the perfect viewing experience for you. That's odd. I beg your pardon. I think you'll find I spend a large proportion of my time improving your life. Well, oh, uh, do be quiet. I, I, I was referring to this. Oh. Oh, it looks awfully like Jed's cap. Well, that's because it is. Well, that is odd, then, because I, I, you know, I don't believe I've ever seen him without it. Precisely. So why on earth would he leave it behind? Well... Uh, Perhaps he, th he thinks he's, he's, he's lost it and bought a new one. I don't know. Uh, what if he hasn't gone off in a drunken huff? What if something bad has happened? Oh, if you jump into conclusions. I I'm sure he'll be perfectly fine. Hmm. Well, we'll know that when we find him. Oh, and how exactly are, are we expected to do that? I have no idea, but we make a start first thing tomorrow. Hey, what's up? I'm happy. Mm. Me and all. Mm. <laughs> now what are you thinking? Now this is the best present a man could ever have. Mm. I must have been a very good boy this year. <laughs> Coming up on ITV1, don't miss Connie Fisher in her first ever television role. You have a thief in your midst. That money is nowhere to be found. A story of escape, embezzlement and Elvis. Caught in a trap is next.